Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Niambi. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I'm so excited because I am doing my everyday makeup routine using my favorites. So typically I would do an April favorites video, but in April I was being a little bit budget friendly because I knew that the Sephora VIB sale was coming and I wanted to spend some coins on that and haven't had a chance to really use the items that I've got from Sephora. So I decided that I would just do an everyday makeup routine with my favorite products. So if you wanna see how I got this look and what products I use, keep on watching. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and press the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button so YouTube will notify you every time I post, which is every Sunday at noon. And without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, we're gonna start our eyebrows. And so what I do is I first start by outlining the bottom of the brow. And then I go in with hair-like strokes to fill. I stop right about there because I like the gradient look of the brow. And then I will do a little bit of an outline on the top of the brow. And then I just take the spoolie in and blend it all together. I'm gonna try to blend the line at the beginning a little bit in so it looks more natural. Then I do the same thing on the other side. And this is my favorite eyebrow pencil, the Bold Face Makeup Eyebrow. I have it in the shade B8. Now I'm gonna take the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fix Ultimate Concealer in Deep Tan. This is not tan, but it works for me underneath my brows. So I just use it. And I'm taking a flat brush. This is the Morphe M421 brush. And I'm just using this to clean up and any little sparse hairs I have to cover that up. I like to use the concealer in the pot because it is a thicker consistency and it's just easier for me to use to outline. And I feel like I get a little bit more precision with this type of concealer. And then I take a concealer brush and blend the concealer out. This is actually the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, but I use it as a concealer brush because I feel like it works good to blend the concealer out. And then I don't put concealer on the top of my brows because I feel like it's too light. So I use my foundation to kind of carve the brow out up top. Uh, right now I'm gonna go in with my favorite primer, which is the Elf Mint Melt Jelly Cooling Primer. I love this stuff. And it really makes your foundation and your makeup adhere to the skin. It smells like mint. But I think with candy canes, every time I use it, which reminds me of Christmas, which makes me happy. So I've been doing my foundation a little bit differently. I've been applying it with a flat brush and then buffing it out with a different brush. I'm just going in with my all-time favorite, the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And the shade is Syracuse. So I just did two pumps and that is going to get me what I need. and I just place it everywhere with this brush. And what I like about it is I can be a little bit more precise to carve out the top of the brows. So I just place two pumps on the back of my hand and that is where I'm picking it up from. That actually allows me to use less product. No. 
And then I take the Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush, number 56 brush, and just go in and blend this all in. Make it a little bit more seamless. And then one thing that I have been loving that I recently picked up is this Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer. I got it in the shade Sable 20. Just gonna put that much under my eye and this side is a little bit too much. And I'm gonna let that sit for a good couple of minutes so I can have a little bit more coverage. But I'm gonna put a little bit down at the center of my face. I'm trying not to do too much concealer lately because I'm trying to get my skin under control. So I'm gonna use this Sonia Kusha Black Concealer Brush to blend it all out. I'm gonna start blending in the center of my face first so I can give more time for the concealer under the eyes to dry and be more blendable. I like this brush, it's way more dense than the Beauty Blender. I feel like I have more control of the concealer. Now I'm just gonna take this, pull this down, and right there. I have pulled my concealer all the way up here in the past, and what I've noticed recently is that it looks super cakey up in this temple area. I don't know why, but I'm trying to stop that from happening. So I stop like right where my eyebrow is instead now. And I've also noticed that kind of makes my face look a little bit more lifted than when I bring it all the way up here. And then I also recently have picked up this It Cosmetics Bye Bye translucent setting powder that I've been enjoying. I take this brush that is a little bit of a fluffier brush and I take a little bit of this and set my under eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder all over the remainder of my face. This is my favorite powder brush from ColourPop. This is the F1 brush. It's so soft. I love it so much and it's so inexpensive. Okay, now that I look closely, let's bring some color back into the skin. So I'm going in with this Haley's Beauty Foundation Stick in the shade 7.25. Just gonna put a little bit of contour up there. Some dots on my forehead. And then this chin. That needs to go. And a little down my nose like so and then i take my favorite sephora pro number four seven brush and blend this all out Then I will go in with the Morphe Glamour Bronze and Mega Star. A little bit of bronzer to set all of that. And then I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Powder blush palette in dark and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this top shade like a very small amount and place it up above not too much on my apples and my cheeks anymore 
just like because I'm a, I want like a more lifted effect to my face. Now I am going to take a little bit of this under with a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just run it on the crease. Now, these are two new highlighters that I'm obsessed with. These are the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighters. This is in Amnesia and Lucent Jungle. I really love Amnesia. Um, these are so creamy and they just melt right into the skin. I just take my finger and go in where I want it. And I'll go down a little bit on my cheek. Ooh, so pretty. It's such a good formula. All right, then I go in with this NYX The Brow Glue and set my brows. I really love this little NYX The Brow Glue. And what I love about it is that the applicator, the spoolie, is very small. So you can control it a little bit better and I do feel like it gets through every single brow hair. And now I'm just going to go in with the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I love this. I know it's a little expensive. You can also use the Maybelline Lash Sensation Sky High Mascara. No secret here, this is my favorite lip combo, the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. And then the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle and Courage right in the center. I hope you pick this up during the Sephora sale because bomb. And then I will use the Matte Fix Plus to melt that all into the skin. And then when that is all dry, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. The Matte Fix Plus just kind of like melts it into the skin, but the setting spray sets it so that it will last a little longer. And that is why I use silk. And that is it for my everyday makeup routine using my April favorites. Let me know what you guys think down below. Was this easy enough? Was it too much? Do you need a quicker routine? You can always do something that's a little bit quicker for you if you need it. And let me know what you think about the products used today. If you tried them, if you picked them up during the Sephora sale. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and press the post notification bell right next to the subscribe button. And we will catch you in the next one.